The Earth is getting hotter. That's a fact. And global warming is leading to more extreme weather events than ever before. Things like droughts, heat waves, cyclones, and flash flooding are becoming more and more common. So what's driving this change in climate? The answer is greenhouse gases. Greenhouse gases are released mainly by the burning of fossil fuels. And when they enter the Earth's atmosphere, they create a layer of insulation, trapping in heat and causing temperatures to rise. Until now, the majority of action taken to tackle climate change has focused on reducing the emission of greenhouse gases. But what if there was another way? Well, I think there just might be. Instead of focusing on limiting the release of greenhouse gases, my research focuses on their conversion into valuable products and fuels. To power this conversion, I created and tested a range of tiny little particles, which are so small that you could fit a million of them inside just a few grains of sand. These particles are called nanoparticles. And I found when I designed them with just the right size, shape, and composition, they have some amazing properties. Suddenly, I'm able to make nanoparticles which have a huge appetite for greenhouse gases. They feast on greenhouse gases, digesting them to produce fuels which are cleaner and greener than the fossil fuels we rely on today. And because these nanoparticles are so small, I can have literally billions of them working as a team to convert greenhouse gases at exactly the same time. Do you want to know the best part of this whole process? The fuels that I can create from these tiny little nanoparticles of mine can directly replace the fuels we rely on today, fossil fuels like diesel. That means we may now have a source of fuel for our cars, trucks, trains, and planes, which doesn't have to be taken out of the ground. With nanoparticle technology, we may be able to recycle greenhouse gases, reducing their concentration in the atmosphere and reversing the effects of global warming. Who knows, maybe in the near future, we could all be driving cars powered by this cleaner fuel option. Each and every one of us could become part of the solution for climate change without having to change a thing about our day-to-day -day lives. And we could all be taking part in the fight against global warming because when it comes to tackling climate change with the power of nanoparticle technology, there is strength in numbers. Thank you.